You are standing next to one of Europe's most famous landmarks and the most iconic site in Berlin, the Brandenburger Tor. This monument, also known as the Brandenburg Gate, was designed by Karl Gotthard Langhans and constructed between 1788 and 1791 by order of the Prussian king Frederick Wilhelm II. The gate used to be part of the old city wall and was one of a total of eight gates leading into the city. Like much of the architecture of the time, the gate design is inspired by ancient Greek architecture and has many resemblances to the gateway to the Acropolis in Athens. The gate itself is 26 meters high, 65 and a half meters wide and 11 meters deep. As you can see, on the top of the gate stands a large statue. This is the quadriga, the four horse drawn chariot. The chariot is driven by Victoria, the Roman goddess of victory. The quadriga was built in 1793 and designed by Johann Gottfried Schadow as a symbol of peace. What many people don't know is that even though the gate itself has remained more or less intact over the years, the statue on top of it has been changed several times. After the Prussian defeat against the French commander Napoleon I in 1806, Napoleon ordered that the statue would be transported to Paris as a sign of the French superiority. It only remained there for eight years until the Prussians recaptured it and brought it back to Berlin. The Roman goddess driving the chariot, Victoria, originally carried an olive wreath with a Roman eagle on top of it. However, back in Berlin, the statue underwent a drastic change. Instead of carrying the olive wreath, symbolizing peace, a banner-like symbol was added instead. As you can see, on top of the banner is now the Prussian coat of arms, the Prussian eagle. Under the eagle, you can see a wreath of oak leaves and inside it, the Iron Cross. The Iron Cross was the military symbol of the Prussian Kingdom and was later used by Germany as well. With that, the so-called Gate of Peace became the Gate of Victory. After the statue had been brought back from Paris, the neighboring square was also renamed Pariser Platz, the Paris Square, as a symbol of the Prussian victory. After the Second World War, the Brandenburg Gate was one of the few standing buildings in the area, though it was badly damaged by bullet holes and nearby explosions. After the war had ended and Berlin had been divided in two, both the governments of East and West Berlin restored the monument in a joint effort. The West was in charge of restoring the statue, while East was in charge of restoring the gate itself. Not surprisingly, the cooperation did not proceed without complications. Before moving the statue to the top of the gate, the communist government removed the Iron Cross and sawed off the Prussian Eagle from Victoria's banner, as it was seen as a symbol of the Prussian and the Nazi military. Let's just say it did not improve the relationship between East and West. During the Cold War and the rise of the Berlin Wall, the gate became inaccessible to West Berliners and in a large extent also to East Berliners. As the wall collapsed, the gate once again became the symbol of freedom and unity as it is today. On December 22, 1989, the Brandenburg Gate reopened when Helmut Kohl and the West German Chancellor walked through to be greeted by Hans Modrow, the East German Prime Minister. The gate became the central place of celebration and the icon for the German reunion. After the German reunification, the Prussian Eagle and the Iron Cross were restored in 1990, which until then had been kept in an East Berlin Museum. Some argued that restoring the Eagle and the Cross was wrong, as they were symbols that had been used by the Nazis. However, as the symbols originally were adopted during the liberation war against Napoleon, and not during World War I or II, the protests had little support. The monument has undergone several restorations during the last decade, and luckily for us, traffic was no longer allowed through the gate. This is to ensure that the gate is as accessible as possible to visitors, and to make sure it remains intact. 
During the years, many famous speeches have been held at the Brandenburg Gate, including speeches by John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton, the Dalai Lama, to name a few. As you now know, the monument and its symbolism has played a central part throughout the history and will surely continue to do so in the future.